Hi, this is Mike Kevin Videos. Today, well, I'm going. Now we're going to continue with our website, and now we need to find a way to put it up on a server so that users can access it. And so we have our full little, not very big website. And so now let's just go down here and open up my my web page and this is you just go to zymic.com and sign up and you just have your little account and what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click create web host account okay so I'm going to go and create the web host account and I'm just going to name it um, Mike Kevin videos um no, um, MK vids, um, MK vids, uh, test. Okay, and then you just push continue. And it's going kind of slow. Okay, and then you want to type your password. And okay, they have a lot of stuff. And just click I agree to them. And you want to type this. And just click create. Okay, so it's been created, and let's just open that up, that way we can see it once it's done. Okay, now, um, now we can click log into the control panel, and so you go right here, and there should be it right there, and just click log in, and control panel log in. does redirecting which I don't like. Now we have our um thing right here. So now what we're going to need to do is upload our files to the server. And to do that we're going to need a an FTP client and I use FileZilla. It is a free one and it never expires. So then we're gonna have to click on that button right there and click new site and name it I'll just name it show site. And I'll and then the host is your website, so let's go into here. Oh okay. And I'll just copy that. Paste it right there. And the port is twenty one. You can leave it plain. And log on type is normal. And the user is it's gonna be right here. Okay, and let's just copy that and just put that in there and then you, the password is whatever password you entered when you were creating it and push OK and then click it again and double click on it and it should just a second mm -hmm. it's test one um let's see what I did. Um and it should update. And oh, here we go. And as you see there's one file and that's the file we see right here. Okay? And so now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to direct to our website and then go over into your server the one on the right is your server and the one on your left is your computer so let's delete that file and just drag all our files and folders over and it'll take a minute so it'll work um, 
and storing all the files, storing all the images. And now, if we go back and refresh this, we see, oh, we see my first web page. And as you see, if I click here, it does, it goes and it'll go to my blog, but I don't really want to do that right now. And if we click this, it'll bring us to the second web page. And so it's just what you saw earlier. Now, let's say you don't want to have to send people to my mkvidstest.zxq.net. So in the next video, in the next tutorial, I will actually show you how to um, get a custom domain. And I will show you a couple of different ways. Okay. Well, thanks and have a, and please join me in the next tutorial. And thanks for watching and have a great day.